Hello there, uh, I'm Ben, and I'm hopefully going to help you figure out how to do timecode on EOS family consoles on PC. So, starting off, you're going to need two main programs, and these are going to help you immensely. I'll include links to them in the description if I can get that to work. If not, you might just have to Google it and find it yourself. So the two programs you're, you are going to need is Reaper and Loop MIDI. Loop MIDI is a driver. Firstly, you would want to install both of these and get these running. And then right off the bat, when you open Loop MIDI, you want to add a new port. You can name it. I'm going to add something here. And then click plus and you immediately add it. So next thing you want to do is go to Reaper. Again, we'll go to what to do on EOS after you set up everything else that you need to do. So in Reaper, you firstly would want to add your time code. To do that, you click on the um, layer you want. It would most likely be track one. But since I I just tested it out and I got it working. So you would click insert and then time code generator. When you open it, it'll only last, I think, 10 seconds. So you can either drag it or right click it, item properties, select HMSF or hours, minutes, second frames, and then add in your designated length. So the first one would be hours, second one minutes, seconds, frames. And then go to properties and then click important thing is click MIDI, send MIDI MTC, and then choose your frame rate. And then if you want the time code to start at a specific time, like for instance, have the show start at exactly one hour, you might want to set this to something like 55 minutes or like 59 minutes. 30 seconds, something like that. So remember to click apply. So once that's done, I'm going to use this instead. Then I also color coded these so it's easier to see. This is like some music and then this is my time code. If you want to change the icon or color, you can right click it. And then down here, track color and track icon. So I, I'm bad at talking. Wow. So after you do that, you want to go to your options and go down to preferences. And then on here, you go down to audio and then MIDI devices. Here you should, here's all my other tests. You should see your port, for instance, add something here. Here, here it is. What you do is right click it, go to input ID, and then add in something. I believe EOS only goes up to 16 or 18. One of the two. To be safe, just keep it within 8. So I'm going to select 6. And then right click, enable input. And then also go down here and do the exact same thing for output. So after you applied the ones that you want, click apply. Then hit OK. And then once all of you've done all that, you the final step is going to here. You're, you right click on this knob, which will open up this and then go to MIDI hardware output. Click on this and then you should see your um, MIDI output or input here. Click on this. This and then that's the last step you actually need to do in Reaper besides hitting play and stop. If you do hear stuff, check here. I'm probably actually going to cut that out. So after you've done all of that, let me delete this since I'm only going to be using this. You can add your music in, add it somewhere in, and then click play. Test if everything, test if everything's working. Then you now you go to EOS. So I have this simple 
for Q list for Q show where it's just that just to show it show you that it works. So firstly, you go into settings, go to setup, system, bah, system settings, open this, and then go down to show control. You also want to go to the MIDI tab. Uh, you should start off here, but you want to go to MIDI. Here, what you would want to do is activate MIDI SMT RX, enable it, USB MIDI SMPT, enable it, and then MTC MIDI timecode RX, enable that. Enable these three, and then timecode ID. This is important. You would change it to your input that you put in in Reaper. Here, you want to keep it the same as this number. And then go down to network, RX, which is receive, TX is send. Go to RX, change it to the same one. And if you're also trying to send stuff, just keep it the same as the one you made to outputs, no, inputs here. So I made them the same. So do it six again. And then, and your final step is to go to tab 11. You can open this and then go to tab 11, show control. It would be right here. Open this. So you should have like a clear screen here. So what you want to do is type in with the soft buttons, do event one and then enter and then you'll immediately have this so next step is going to here go to type click on that or use the soft keys and then go down to soft keys and then click on midi enter which would change your type then go to source change it to the same one that is being sent so six enter then turn on external. I will change the FPS to your frames per second to the same thing. It's set to 7D. You can check what it is if you right click and then source properties. So 30 frames. And then, and to test it, all you have to do is go to a Reaper. You should see that there's this green countdown here then just click play and when you hit play in reaper it should go green and start moving along with this since i set the um start time to be 59 minutes and 20 seconds that's what shows here at zero then another important point if you enable internal for instance if you're putting reaper on a separate computer and it's patched in if for instance this computer crashes and it stops sending it it would go red and it'll continue the show but it's not but since reaper isn't actually playing anything and it'll continue on as normal you're not all the way out on um, being able to show control. If you just go to here, click learn, and then and just start playing. And let me just go near the music. And you just start playing it while learning's active. nothing is actually going to record or if, like if you look let me switch the screen it's looking at so as you see here nothing has been recorded what you have to do is go into if you click on it it would go into blind mode which then while in blind you would want to select the list you want and then click on action and so this shows up. Uh, if it doesn't, maybe it, if 
if you click learn, it's not going to do anything. And so you want to click action. So this specifically shows up. Then you can click learn and then it should. And remember to pause. Um, Switch back here. Remember to pause your time code and then click learn again. So it turns off. And then now you have your show recorded. It should show up here with time and then action. So now you can go back into live. And if you go back to your show, you can go out or Q0. And then you can just hit play on your time code and watch the show. And there you go. Hope that was helpful. I was also only using four cues and I was being able to skip back and forth. So that should at least help you understand how a time code works. It's going forward backwards. So there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Have fun. Uh, yeah.